What is up everyone? It's Kyle here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you everything that you need to know to get up and running with your shiny new Mindstorms Robot Inventor. So don't go anywhere. If you've managed to pick up one of these Robot Inventor sets recently, congratulations, you're one of the lucky ones. And that's because the Robot Inventor is really quite excellent in my own opinion. As a matter of fact, I did a whole review on it recently, so if you're interested in seeing my opinions and what makes it so great, you can check out that video up here. However, you might have been really excited to open the box and get started with the robot, only to realize that this quick start guide that they include with the package is actually not very useful at all. Protect the environment by not disposing of this product with your household waste. Check with your local authority for recycling advice and facilities. Well, I'm all for protecting the environment, but this doesn't necessarily help us get up and running with the Robot Inventor. Lucky for you, you don't even need a quick start guide because you are subscribed to BuilderDude35. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know to get up and running with this Robot Inventor set. So stick around to the end because you're going to learn a lot in this video. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So if you want to become a master of the Robot Inventor, you need to know how to turn the robot on. There's this big button, which is primarily the power button. So if it's not on already meaning none of the lights are turned on just hold that for a second and you'll see it turn a faint white slash bluish color and a little animation will play on the screen to let you know that it's ready it looks like it's flashing on the video but it doesn't actually flash that's just the way the camera is picking up the light worth noting there are two other buttons on either side that are arrow keys so left and right and that'll be useful for interacting with this down the road and in the top right corner is the Bluetooth button which you'll need to press to connect it to your smart device which we'll explore in just a minute and if at any point in time you need to turn your intelligent hub off or if you need to restart it hold down this big button in the bottom for three counts and it turns off. To get up and running with your new Robot Inventor set, you're going to want to connect it to a smart device, such as a phone or a tablet. Here, I'm going to show you how to connect it to an Apple iPad. So the first order of business is you want to make sure that you've installed the new LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor app on your smart device. So it's as simple as going to the App Store, look up LEGO Robot Inventor, it just comes right up and takes like a minute to install. Once you have that, click on it to open it and you'll be greeted with uh, this really pleasant looking home screen with uh, some fun music. So just click the start button in the bottom right corner. It'll start by encouraging you to connect some motors and sensors, but if you want to connect to the brick in the top right corner, you see a little icon of the brick with the little purple dot next to it. Let's click on that and it'll walk you through the instructions. So first it says it wants you to turn on the hub and press the Bluetooth button in the top right corner. So I'll do that right now and you'll see the Bluetooth button turns kind of like a deep royal blue and it flashes between royal blue and kind of that lighter blue whitish color. And now we'll click the green connect button at the bottom here and we'll wait a few seconds. And then after a while you'll see it says Lego hub and the Mac address for my intelligent hub click on that and now we're connected all set and ready to go the first time i tried to connect my intelligent hub to a smart device i actually had a little bit of a hard time it failed the first time i tried it and i'll share my experience with you as a little bit of a debugging opportunity so the way i debugged that i simply went into my ipad's bluetooth settings and told the ipad to forget its connection to my intelligent hub so it was like starting over from a clean slate and then following the steps that I outlined earlier in the tutorial to connect as if you've never connected before. And then when I tried that, connecting was just fine again. This is a simple technique you can have in your toolbox to troubleshoot anytime you need to connect your intelligent hub to your smart device and it's being problematic. You might get this notification if it's your first time, which is you have to do an operating system update for your intelligent hub. This is no big deal, but just make sure to plug in your hub to the charger, plug in that micro USB to the top of the the brick and then once that's there then you're ready to go you can click start update and it will take some amount of time uh, just make sure that you don't disconnect the power from your hub or close the app until this is finished as soon as that update finishes you'll get this screen which invites you to reconnect the hub so once more you'll press that Bluetooth button in the top corner of the brick and, and click continue and you'll see the lego hub with the mac address will come up again so just click on that my motors need to be updated it asks you to connect all four motors to the hub as soon as you have all four of your motors connected to the hub you can click the start button and it wants you to build a mechanical lock for motor a 
and attach it. And so it'll walk you through the instructions for that. Quickly walk through these instructions. The, the motor lock itself is only about five pieces. Attach the motor lock to the axle output side of the motor. And so this will keep the output shaft of the motor from spinning at all. And then once that's there, you just run that and it'll, it'll do some calibration. And then when it's finished, it asks you to remove the lock from motor A. So you hit remove and then hit continue and the motor should be able to spin freely. And then now it asks you, update the motor in port B. And so you'll just repeat the process. You should have the lock already built. So you can kind of just skip through the instructions and hit done. And then with the lock attached to motor B, it'll do the same calibration process and it'll just take a second. The keynote is as soon as you hit done, it's gonna start running the calibration. So make sure the lock is attached before you click out of the instructions portion. And that finishes up the motor calibration. Take a moment to connect all of the hardware, so all of the motors and ports A, B, C, and D, the ultrasonic sensor in port E, and the color sensor in port F. Uh, just to verify that everything's working, and we can run the fun little demo that they include here. So if you take a look, check out in the top right corner of the iPad display, it gives you a little port readout of the status of all of the motors and sensors. I'm turning the motor in port A, and you can see the degree value changing as I turn it by hand. You can also see as I move my hand around, the distance readout on the ultrasonic sensor changes, and I can even move the color sensor around and it tells me what color it is detecting. So that's one way you can verify that all the hardware is working just by looking at the little readout, uh, but they also prepare a little demo for you. So if you go to page three of this welcome screen kind of tutorial readout, there's going to be a big purple button in the bottom right corner, or actually it's a green button that's glowing purple in the bottom right corner of your iPad. Go ahead and click that to play the demo. And now you can interact with it in different ways just to verify that everything's working. So for example, if we press the big button on the Intelligent Hub, it'll show a little animation in the LED matrix to show that that's working. And if we interact with the ultrasonic sensor, it's going to move one of our motors. And if you interact with the color sensor, it'll move a different motor. Even the arrow keys on the Intelligent Hub interact with the motors. And so just running this demo is a way that you can verify that all of your hardware is working before you start to build your first robot. Schützen Sie die Umwelt und entsorgen Sie dieses Produkt nicht mit Ihrem Hausmüll. Informationen zu Recyclingmöglichkeiten erhalten Sie bei den örtlichen Behörden. As soon as you're done with the demo and ready to move on, scroll over to the fourth page of this tutorial screen and click Get Started. And now this allows you to select one of the five starter models and pull up the building instructions and just get started with building. And now we're off to the races. And just like any Lego set, you can follow the building instructions built into the app. Uh, it happens that it breaks it up into different sections. So if you chose Blast, for example, it'll teach you how to build Blast's head first and then you could just walk through the building instructions and put it together physically like any other lego set all of the instructions are structured such that it's a kind of like step-by-step -step section tutorial so they'll have you build one part of the robot such as the head and then they'll have tutorials and code that goes specifically with just that section so it's kind of like you're building it piece by piece and then interacting with each component before you put it all together. So after you build the head, some of the instructions may be redundant. So again, it says the connect to the hub instructions. If you're already connected and this is still the same app session as before, uh, which it is in my case, uh, you can feel free to just skip this. And then it'll give you a sample animation, uh, which then you can choose to run on blast. So you could just hit the, the play button in the bottom corner and it should play a new animation on the screen. And then as soon as you hit next, it moves you on to the next part of the process uh, where you build the body. So you could really walk through these building instructions in a module style.
which is really their intent with the way they laid it out. Take your time and have fun seeing how the robot comes together piece by piece. Now, you may have noticed I'm trying the background music thing again in this video. I know last time I published a video, there were some very mixed opinions on it. I'm trying to listen to your feedback and I've made some adjustments to the music to make it more palatable for everyone. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Did I make an improvement? Is there still room for improvement? I really would love to hear your thoughts to help improve this channel and make it as great as it can possibly be. Thanks so much for spending time with me this week. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel down below. I've got plenty of cool robot inventor tutorials coming up in the next few weeks. And if you like this one, you're not going to want to miss the rest of them. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks.